21 lab code is ec2405 optical and microwave lab so in this lab optical and microwave experiments are conducted in order to verify the characteristics of microwave components and also to study the characteristics of optical fibers so before doing experiments we should study the characteristics of components used in the lab so this is the basic microwave setup used in microwave lab the first block is always microwave source so in this lab two power supply is used gun power supply and klystron power supply in gun power supply gun bias should be in minimum position amplitude and frequency knob should be in the middle position before switch on the power supply after switch on the power supply the gun bias is adjusted till we get the maximum output on the cro so this is the klystron power supply in klystron power supply the meter select knob should be in v position modulation should be in am position beam voltage should be in the minimum position and repeller voltage should be in the maximum position in am and fm am should be in the amplitude and frequency knob of am should be in the middle position a for as far as fm is concerned it should be in the minimum position before switch on the power supply after switch on the power supply the beam voltage is increased till we get clear square wave on the cro that is it is adjusted to 240 to 250 volts beam voltage should be in the range of 240 to 250 volts the repeller voltage is increased from maximum voltage till we get maximum amplitude on the cro then the second block is isolator this is the isolator it is a two port non reciprocal device it allows the signal only in the forward direction it provides high attenuation in the reverse direction then the next block is variable attenuator generally the attenuator is used to control the power flow to control the amount of power flow in a microwave system it can be either fixed attenuator or variable attenuator here the variable attenuator is used the fixed attenuator is used whenever the amount of attenuation inserted into the system is known the amount of attenuation inserted depends on the depth of penetration into the microwave wavelength system so here the variable attenuator is used and the attenuation level can be adjusted according to the required power output then the frequency meter this is the frequency meter by varying the frequency meter we can the dip on the output of the cro can be observed so in the that is there is a change in the amplitude level of the output on the cro the frequency at which the dip can be observed is noted as a frequency of oscillation so the next block is uh, tunable detector so this is the tunable detector so it is used to detect the microwave signal from the source so from the tunable detector is then connected to the cro to observe the output on 